Hi guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking. In today's video, we are attempting a Nyonya recipe or Peranakan Ke recipe. And today we are preparing Tao Yu Bao. In Hokkien, which is a Chinese dialect, Tao Yu means soy sauce and Bao refers to uh, the meat. In this case, it's pork. Normally, pork belly is used in this uh, recipe. But as we all know, pork belly has lots and lots of fats. So if you do not like it, you can replace it with the other parts from the pig. And if you do not eat pork, feel free to use it with beef or chicken it works perfectly well so uh, let's see the ingredients that we'll need for this very simple dish so we'll begin with uh, the pork here over here I have a combination of pork belly and also uh, the part from the neck and then soy sauce dark soy sauce now be very careful this dark soy sauce is the caramelized soy sauce and it's, it is not sweet so uh, the sweet soy sauce is something different this is just dark and it's used to give some color to our Tao Yu Bak and then some pepper black pepper some spice spice powder and also ginger star anise cloves and also cinnamon stick and then uh, rock sugar I have here also garlic and this whole garlic what I did earlier was to just throw it into the oven for about 15 minutes at a very high heat 200 celsius so that it's slightly burned and then you get this smell it's marvelous and then we're going to add also four boiled eggs to our dish and also some water so with the dark soy sauce that we have here I'm just going to take one teaspoon just a bit and add it to the pork so now that it's mixed thoroughly and I have my pan over here, it's heated up at uh, medium heat. So we're just going to put this meat into the pan now. Remember to not put it at high heat or else uh, the fats from the pork belly will all come all out and then you have a very oily Tao Yu Bak. So keep it low and we're just going to just lightly stir fry this. As you can see, no oil is needed because we have the oil from the uh, pork belly. This has been in the pan for about 3 minutes and uh, I'm just going to give it a few quick stirs before we add our cinnamon steak, star anise and also cloves into the pan. Remain at medium heat and then add the garlic, ginger slices, 5 spice powder and also pepper. This is after 30 minutes and as you can see it's almost dried up so uh, from time to time as you stir just now if it's slightly dry you can add a bit of water but just a very tiny bit so we're just going to add a small piece of rock sugar and a bit of water okay I'm going to increase the heat to medium now so we'll let this rock sugar melt I've waited for about another 10 minutes and this will allow the uh, rock sugar to melt and then get caramelized so that it coats the pork. Just imagine the description. Mm, delicious, right? So now we're just going to add a bit of water here because you want some gravy to it and make sure it covers the pork. If you add cold water to the dish, it'll really spoil it takes some time for the whole dish to get heated up again so we don't want that um, so hot water remember and at this point of time I'm going to add these boiled eggs into the dish allow the dish to cook at medium heat uh, not again not too hot because or else the hard boiled eggs will all fray and then it'll all spoil so remember medium heat at this point of time and uh, we'll leave this for about 20 minutes after 20 minutes, as you can see here, the egg has gotten darker um, because the gravy has only is only covering half of the egg. So I had to you know turn it from time to time to ensure that the egg is nicely coated with this nice brown color. Um, anyway, this dish is now ready after almost an hour. So we're going to dish it out and let's see. Just as a final touch, I'm adding some spring onions as garnishing. At this point of time, the kitchen smells heavenly, absolutely amazing. If this dish has a voice, it would be screaming 
eat me and now I'm gonna eat it so I'm gonna try it um this dish tau yu bak is best when served with sambal belacan if you want to check out the sambal belacan recipe that I have here check it out here it's very simple easy to prepare goes really well with tau yu bak tau yu bak itself is very flavorful with the sambal belacan mm, enough of talking we have to try this so I'm taking a small piece of pork here and then with a bit of gravy and I'm gonna dip this pork with a bit of sambal belacan mm, the gravy mm. in my mouth the flavors were just bursting non-stop the sambal belacan it's spicy and then it's sour together with the savory um, tau yu bak Mm, so delicious try this recipe if you think that this is just another soy sauce braised pork recipe you are totally wrong pair it with the sambal belacan remember that you never go wrong your guests would be screaming for more even so for more recipes like this simple easy and delicious remember to subscribe to nyonya cookie and send me your pictures through all the social network um platforms you know the drill so to the next video happy cooking all i did was to pound the balacan into the pounded chilies as well and now that is evenly